Welcome to the like fat cast anyway. Cats. Whatever. Yeah. Talking. <laughs> We're on air. There's no one else here yet. There's no one else here until I say their name. Oh yeah. So wait, who who's meant to say my name? That's what? the ma- that's the biggest problem. Who's meant to say my name? Fuck. Anyway, yeah, it's John book, Jeffrey here. Book, uh, John Jeffrey. We, t- we, t- we decided to call you Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh no no no. <laughs> In honor of our team. Yeah. John Jeffrey. And then we just said, no, Joffrey. Joffrey. <laughs> so we're just sticking with Joffrey now? Yeah. Okay, grand. I'll, I'll just register a new website. Anyway. Be grand. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much here with all of uh, Bismuth, so. Way. Yeah. Minus yeah. Oh, Minus I think, I think off I'm off on the Having to crack. <laughs> Such a hard job. I'm <laughs> <laughs> manager of Hawaii. Oh, okay. come back. Uh, we're crushing. <laughs> <laughs> so, we yeah, who do we have to the table then? Um, we've got Paul. Hello. That's a great, great, brilliant intro. Hello. <laughs> I got Baz. Cucumbers are a good source of nutrition. <laughs> great information, great information. Uh, Ralph. How are you? AKA Carl. Man, um, we should just make this like a video podcast. You know what's stupid, like, right? What? <laughs> what's stupid? <laughs> what's stupid? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to get sued back on the call. Yeah. And we just have the crowd in the background yeah. shouting out. Go give a shout out. We don't have a microphone. Hey! <laughs> That's right. Great That's one for So yeah, fuck it. We'll start off like what you've been up to. Like playing wise or playing with yourselves wise, whatever. Do the boat. We need to talk in the microphone. <coughs> Man. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Paul. How's that? Yeah, that's grand. That's totally grand. So, I don't know, what have we been doing? I was, gonna, I was expecting years. you to say something because, well, first of all, we've been trying to damage control in the office because Paul gets crazy at about 3 p.m. every day. He no, walks into this depression. It's getting earlier every day, though, isn't it? I think. Really? Yeah, it's getting a bit earlier. It's about an hour earlier per day. Yeah, I reckon. You're going to come in depressed now next week. The longer development goes on, the crazier he gets. <laughs> And the spreading of the week. Especially for the end of the day. No, today today was actually one of the better days, I think. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we had burritos. And brownies. Not forgetting the brownies. Oh, yeah, brownies. Sh- Sharon's amazing brownies. Brownie cookie brownies. They're amazing. <laughs> they're amazing. They're nice, but you're nice to be good. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. Not microphone. Anyway, I'm the intern. It's <laughs> You're not an intern anymore. We clarified that today. Really? You're not in college anymore. No, you're you're head head a head brownie Okay. Oh, yeah, I've never been hugged so much by okay, gamers is. in my life. A bunch of what? Game people. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Not even arcade con. People are crazy for hugs. Have you guys been seeing that day the gamer? What was it called? Day the gamer. Day the gamer. Right? Oh, that Kitty K and stuff. What a man! Oh, fucking shit. day one, yeah. So day the gamer was set up as a, as a site for gamers to find love. Oh, oh yeah, and yeah. they used it as a as a as a as a site to uh, meet up and have. What the codes is? Did they say bad words in this? Yeah, yeah. Sex. They met up for sex. How is that a bad word? Sex is not bad. I was gonna say something worse. How are you, Ray? Shut down. I'm a very good boy. <laughs> good Catholic. Oh Jesus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the video? Uh, Data Gamer was set up and then they just used it as a, as a, as a site to meet up and have sex. Gamers. And they did another crowd come in and just set up Shaggy Gamer and everyone migrated over and <laughs> Well, no, that's <laughs> fine. I, think, you know, I don't mind if there's a site that caters for niche people to go off and do their own thing, but it's just the marketing for it. It's like a girl with her tits up. Stereotypical. Going, a stereotypical. Yeah. You know, college, piece of the college crowd. Pretty much like any female character a, in any game. Check with big right. boobs and a big Well, boobs. no, not really. Like, games have been going pretty good. Cool, They're getting okay. better, but... I can... Them check is... Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Every... No, Every I know. Those I know is a lot of friends. Well, there's uh, Lydia in Skyrim. Lydia. 
The house card. I was born to carry your birthdays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's an interesting character. So we're talking about female protagonists. No, I'm just talking about like sure one of the quotes from the, from that from their ad video is We're high maintenance. You may think we're high maintenance, but what about Diablo 3? It's just like Ugh. Wait, they had a video? They have a video. Oh, a girl, I haven't seen the video yet. Like, basically, you know, like those late night TV shows when you're flipping through and sometimes you see like a, those call in and oh, is it a psychic? Is it a hawker? Wants to talk to me? Which thing, is it? Like, and but but it's, it was that kind of thing, and they're lying down in a suggested pose, <laughs> like Robbie. Her falling off. Oh, it's just horrible. It's just capitalizing on on. It's, stero- you, it's stereotyping on both sides. It's stereotyping females and stereotyping gamers. Yeah. It's being a bunch of kids who can't have... Well, it's stereotyping into the stereotypes. So well, one of the facts happens. on the site was that one-third of all gamers are virgins. Where did I get the statistic from? I didn't see that part. They might have looked at the age demographic, though. Yeah, I mean... You know, pretty young age. Yeah, I reckon like 50% of the gamers 12. are virgins. Because half of them are under 12. You know? Baz in virginity shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Scandal. 12. We're dating, dating sons, man. What? You were 12? <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days. Jesus. Like, Jesus. <laughs> and accounting for... I blame, I blame video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Donkey Kong got you right. Right, you're wrong. Efforts. Pretty bad. I was going to go there, but I was like, oh, I was like no, no, that's too much. Nah, yeah, man. <laughs> Slotted in. By a bit of a same <laughs> sex relationships. There are ra ra ra. Those scenes in Mass Effect are so awkward. What? The sex scenes are all like, they're they are so awkward, but that's, that's why I'm, I think it's funny that people have given out so much about them. No, but they're trying to evoke, like, put these, like, these Romantic. scenes into, like, these, both these emotions in, in games, but they just do it so terribly, like, well, yeah, laughing yeah. at it. One of, the, one of the romance options is one of them giving you a lockdowns, pretty much. Yeah, it's really awful. I totally accidentally did it oh. in Ma- in Mass Effect Two. It was like, oh, yeah, can I come up to your? Can I? No, seriously, it's like it's like I've no, I've talked to you perfectly nicely for the entire of this game. Can I come to your room? I need to discuss something <laughs> purely professionally. I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, yeah. come up to my room. Have next next second, just give me a lap dance. Like, what the fuck's going on? Like? <laughs> <laughs> I never yeah. said I liked her or anything. So, <laughs> uh, that's just awkward. Well, yeah. lesson learned. Then she died. The chick asked to go to her room. <laughs> when I'm the commanding officer of a ship, hey, and what am I supposed to do? If they ask if you want coffee, maybe they don't actually yeah. want coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I just wanted coffee. I came up for coffee. Yeah, signals. Would you like coffee? Would you like coffee? Would you like to come up for some sex? All <laughs> 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 <Have you, laughs> oh, oh, she said is she wanted some sex, and all I know is next thing she's like, "Room <laughs> open, big old lot of coffee." <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to believe anymore. It's like opposite world. Oh my god! <laughs> so, what? Tell us what you've been playing. I've been Joffrey. playing. Was it Tony Hawk's HD? Oh yeah. Yeah. Any good? I I I think I left it thinking, oh my god, I'm fucking brilliant this game, and then I go back and it's like I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> that was it's like my skills. Today. Yeah. It is a little bit of a nostalgia trip. Like I'd rather like yeah. sit like on yeah. the menu just listen yeah. to the music. Yeah. The music was great. <laughs> it was great, yeah. it was great yeah. They've lost like half the soundtrack, but it's still like ah, it's similar enough. We said great, great for multiplayer now. Two player split screen. Yeah. We're chasing each other around the map, playing tag and stuff. It's a horse. Even or though it wasn't yeah. like a, a game mode or anything, we used to make up our own game modes. It was great fun. Yeah. It's real great for escapism. Like a very similar one for real life. That you can do like, <laughs> yeah. Got like sixteen foot up in the air, spin like a million times around. Like yeah, simple. So okay, the only thing I'll give out about the game though. The last mission. Everything was alright. It was all like it all made sense. Do all these, do whatever. And then the last mission was just crazy off the wall, fucking grinding on top of telephone wires and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. That was a bit of a weird popping up, up houses and stuff. Yeah. I, I just couldn't get it. I just said, No, I can't do this. It doesn't make sense. The rest of the game didn't make sense. <laughs> I know I'm talking about realism and uh, Tony Hawk the first game of the game, but Yeah. Like Tony Hawk Ride, that was so real, man. <laughs> oh, is that with the the, the, the actual plastic off. board? You can get it's it for like, like a fiver now. They're, they're actually board. still charging for it. Yeah, like a fiver. Like, man, so you need to get rid of them. <laughs> you buried it in the desert with ET four times. 
Oh, that Two year thing. window where every game needed a peripheral <laughs> <line>. <laughs> Man, that was not the game that needed one. No. Oh, dear God. Or have you ever seen peripherals. those ones where it's like a wee peripheral with a little ten- a plastic tennis racket? Yeah. At the end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that, that adding to the gameplay. <laughs> All those goddamn peripherals like that SingStar microphones. <laughs> yeah, it's like no use for them when you're done. It's no like, what the fuck? Problem. It's not like you can make a podcast with that. <laughs> Man. Uh, that connect over there. That's another piece of junk, really. I don't know, I, I, I have hopes to connect. connect stuff. Yeah, I have hopes to connect. Scratch and do all kind of cool stuff. That's the it best might be cool for PC. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's why Microsoft well, I guess, I guess gets that, problem, I reckon. It's, not, it's, not it's yeah, open source, it's so now they can base, when someone does from a really cool, they'll go, oh yeah, let's do it's that. Yeah. Or sure, I mean, the guys, these. like the stuff that the guys in NDRC were doing. Oh, man. Yeah, from From this From Yeah. Yeah, like there's, there's plenty of cool stuff we have, they just haven't been exploring it yet. I I had really high hopes for that. There's a new there's a new uh, S- source co- um SDK coming out as well. So that's what the Von Bismarck guys. I think I think it'd be good off this rift more. You know, just seems like a a better. Uh, off this rift and connect. Yeah. Together. Maybe maybe you're on something there. I just I just don't want to dance in front of my TV really <laughs> after a day's work. Well, I mean that seems to be the only the, the only game happen. that's ever been any way successful that's based on connect. Like which. <laughs> What is it? The, the dance, 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 dance yeah. central. I don't have one. Oh, dance, uh, just dance. Oh, I, I don't do it. I've heard the kids do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have my Xbox <laughs> sitting in with the bag, probably <laughs> sitting in the bag underneath the TV that have not been touched. Yeah. <laughs> I have console phobia. Fez. Yeah. So with that, what's anyone else been playing then? Actually, Dark Siders two. Bored. Give it up on it, really. Really? Yeah. I heard really good things about Dark Siders. Uh, I don't know, for mix. Mix. Giant Monkey really it's good. It's just like, it steals something from. It's a mashup of different genres and it doesn't really do anything well. Yeah, it's I like, heard that. It's like, it's like basically Zelda yeah. knockoff. Like, it is Zelda knockoff. Yeah. I mean, well, knockoff. It's, it's heavily inspired by Zelda. But it doesn't like do anything as well. Uh, you know, everything is kind of uninspired and stuff. And I played it on the, on the hardest difficulty setting, and it's clearly not tested for hardest difficulty setting because the mechanics don't support. It's not support. tested for what? Sorry. It's not tested. It wasn't. It obviously wasn't tested very well for the hardest difficulty setting. Oh really? Yeah, like um, I'm sure it plays quite well on normal, you know, but uh, on the hardest setting, it's like too hard. <laughs> the, the camera, the camera can't support, it can't keep up with like your your dodges and stuff, and it all gets fairly hairy when you're surrounded by loads of enemies and. You don't have the abilities to deal with packs and stuff. It's 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 clearly clearly not tested properly. Mm. But uh, the, 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 I don't know. There's some good bits about it. The art direction is, is really nice. You know? Yeah, yeah, the art direction. But, um, really I just had a, had a oh, hard they're, time connecting. They're giving out that it's a different world. It is. Yeah. That's <coughs> First game is set on Earth. Second game is set on their home planet, and it's like very jarring because you start off there and. You got these dudes walking around and you're just like, okay, so you're lost. They don't ease you into it. No, there's no like, sense of place really. They don't kind of, you know, just, I don't know. It's like the first game finishes, the second, second game takes takes off straight from the end of the first game. And you're like, oh, okay, tug your way in, you know. So unless you play the first game, it's, mm. it's going to be very confusing. I never like to look at that. I didn't finish the first I think game. It's weird looking. It looks too cartoony. It mm. looks like a man from, um, oh, what's a brute legend? Yeah. What the hell is that character's name? Yeah, His face Black. is really small. Jack Black one, yeah. He always reminded me of him. Yeah, it's like, it just doesn't look like he belongs in. Well, is the whole game like that kind of cartoony style? So? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, fair enough then. Low poly, low poly models, but really nice high poly art, you know. Yeah. And so. Art style is really nice. But the game is uninspired and boring. <laughs> yeah, you're still been playing it. No, no, I haven't been playing it. Are you just complaining about I the played, higher played game? It. I played it for a while. Got maybe halfway and it just turned into such a grind. It's like, oh, here's another request. Go get me these three things. And I'm like, oh, not again. I find a lot of people are doing things. that these days to try and increase your playability. Mm. And there's a lot of value in it. There's yeah, more. there's a lot of grind. Done with grind it. And they could have trimmed the fat off and it would have been a better experience. Yeah. I there's think a that's, grind. that's a debate I've heard, I've seen around the place a lot. Is like, you know, how long do you expect to get out of a game? And it all depends on, on the quality, you know? Like, yeah. For me, yeah. I'm willing to spend 50 euro on a game 
if it's six hours <coughs> long and I've gotten a high quality experience. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to play a game of 20 hours and 14 mm-hmm. hours of it's padding. But in fairness, you and the indie market in general are a niche. We are a niche. Like, well, yeah, I mean, most I mean, people are like, they're, they're going to look at reviews. Money, so. Yeah, people are going to look at reviews and go, 80 hours long, 80 hours for 60 euro that I'm paying less than. Yeah. A euro per hour, I'll get that, even though it's a problem with the industry in itself. It is. But do you think any, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like the tide is well. turning on that. Like people will buy a big ass book for like 80 quid, but they'll buy a big, big one for 80 quid. Yeah. 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 I'd rather buy a game that's shorter because I just have to yeah. fit, like, if I can finish into my time and actually finish it. Too many games. I just yeah. feel like after 10 hours in Dark Souls, I haven't actually done anything. I'm like, Jesus. Oh. Yeah. You know, I mean, after 10 hours, you should feel like yeah. you're getting something. That was enough for okay. me then, you know. Well, one of the things I heard is that the reason why this is happening is because graphics have got so so advanced and so important that a lot of the time is spent doing. Like, I have no idea if this is true or not. I haven't worked in the AAA games industry. Mm. But a lot of the time is spent doing your models and your textures and trying to get everything looking right. And that takes so much time that a lot of the development cycle goes towards making things look flashy and and pretty rather than actually building really good gameplay like, mm. like Deus Ex when it came out like we think it's a really old game and that's why it looks crap but when it came out it looked bad for its time you yeah. had the time but that's because they focus on all the gameplay whereas like I don't know try and name a really pretty game from then like a graphically a graphically intensive game from that time period that you still remember mm. I'm sure there's probably True. millions <laughs> but I can't remember any of them <laughs> When was that? Around 2000, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. A lot, some of the problems is that a lot of studios funnel all their resources into multiplayer, you know, in a, in a game that necessarily shouldn't, you know, arguably shouldn't have a multiplayer model Everyone at all. Everyone wants multiplayer. They tack it on and try to... So like people going on a green light page for a little indie game going, do you expense. have multiplayer? Yeah. Do you guys have networking multiplayer? Did somebody ask that? Yeah. So there's an interview, there's a review Would about Borderlands 2 on the... On the on a journal about um, a Borderlands 2 review and he was comparing it to Call of Duty saying oh what? he says in this day and age when you release for 60 euro you're going to compete with Call of Duty and Battlefield but there's no multiplayer competitive multiplayer mode in Borderlands so instantly this is a fail uh, <laughs> what? Uh, like <laughs> Borderlands <laughs> which is a new yeah. game he just didn't he yeah. told me he didn't get it but he's like if you're in the market for a new shooter hold off until Call of Duty and Black Ops 2 it's like what the EA boss said and he was proud of it like, I've never ever relighted the game that doesn't have multiplayer. That's not something to be proud of. Mm. I don't. I wouldn't hold it up as positive. He did. He did go back on his statement though, because he what got. What did he say? He got. He got trolled out of it. What did he say? He said, "Oh, I've, I've been misinterpreted or something." He's like, "Oh, I'm totally all for the single player experience, but what I what he meant was that he just had to date. He hadn't actually remit a game. Oh, that really? Didn't have, yeah. And like, that's why he was so proud of he also saying that. He also said, but he, you know, the PR, the PR side had to, you know, had to go back on his word, like. If he's really he's into the single player, right? yeah, yeah, he's really into the single player because we all know EA single yeah. player are cream of the crop. Yeah, we won't even talk about Mass Effect Three. Look at Dead Space. Another game that's <laughs> been invested with multiplayer, multiplayer in the single player. In a survival, a single player survival horror game. Dead Space came out amazing. I loved the first Dead Space. Dead Space Two is kind of getting a bit shooty, and now Dead Space Three, I well, find Gears of War. I've actually no it. And, and I, I, I personally don't understand. This, is AA doing the right thing? I don't know if they are. Are they? Are people actually? Is that what people want nowadays? Is that what sells they think the most? I don't think they have the bloody clue what people want really. No, but people Look at Skyrim. Want. Look at Skyrim. What where's the multiplayer in Skyrim? That's all like twelve. Well, the, the argument EA is making for Dead Space is that Dead Space One to Dead Space Two, Dead Space Two made more, made sold more copies, and their argument is that people liked the increased. Uh, like action in Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2 got more sales because the name was out there already. Exactly. And yeah, friends are like, oh my god, Dead Space is so cool. And then yeah, you guys should buy Dead Space 2. Like, oh, that's exactly yeah. where I think happened, but. Yeah. Probably yeah. this is. That's what's going on here. That's no, it was more shootery, so they sensed it and was like, I'll buy that. That's more shootery. It's like, yeah. Well, apparently, that's Dead Space 2 wasn't going to be commissioned what? at all that's until weird. they agreed to chop in. They agreed to disagree. That's a It's a plague. Multiplayer play. Oh, um, such grumpy old man. <laughs> Bitter. Shut up. <laughs> I was going there, Grandpa. Why am I doing we have to sit on the same couch and spend 50 quid on a multi tap? <laughs> <laughs> Games used to be mad expensive. They did. They really did. You forget that. 
Like an N sixty no, sorry, a Super Nintendo game would cost you like fifty to sixty euro. Like That's crazy. Pound like fifty pounds or something. That's crazy, and I can get it free on my phone. I have like no rage. No, well, no. I mean, some people, <laughs> some people have free games on their phone. Can we cut I do that not condone this. And your phablet. Cut that. This means don't fire it. Cut that. <laughs> we, we don't endorse fire. Don't fire. We don't. Only for us. Certain people may fire, <laughs> which I highly look down upon. <laughs> From my high horse. <laughs> <laughs> Let <laughs> me put it this way, right? How how am I supposed to play Pokemon? That's Buy a Pokemon. Game Boy. Buy a Game Boy. Yes. Yeah, so I, I found my DS recently. It was like, yeah, it's Pokemon. Okay, I I I I get a, a Game Boy. Support local industry. And then what happens? What happens when my cartridge runs on a battery? My cartridge that was built. Oh, what, how old? We just mobile phones thirteen years ago. Why no, no, your cartridge runs on a battery. What? Your save game in Pokemon Red and Blue, the original Pokemon Red and Blue. The actual cartridge inside is a battery, and that battery powers. It's a very low draw battery, but oh that right. powers. Yeah, that powers. Low draw battery. I, I turned my Game Boy on the other day, Pokemon Blue in it, and it's working fine. Yeah, I, is I, your save game there? Like, yeah. It, it okay. Just, it loaded back up for the. You point better there. save that because your save game will go. When? In the when your no? When your battery? When your battery goes? No, your battery's always running. It's it's part it's of like the a watch battery type of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's been really yeah, for a very long time. Oh yeah, they last for like fifteen years. Like, but so that's like the original NES batteries are like they're they're like I don't know they last year or two whatever mm-hmm. they've started like to like go now and like oh, everyone right. saves like fuck that's how much saving Zelda. That's exactly what's happening. Like the last few years, they they've been the saves have been disappearing off cartridges, and that's what's happening. So poor rage. rage so let me know yeah. how I'm supposed to. Yeah, I didn't know that. You make your business off selling. That seems crazy. It is crazy. I mean, I, I don't blame Nintendo. That was just the way it was back then. Like, yeah, that's just well, the games where you couldn't save. That was yeah, exactly. Most, oh, most I, I don't at all blame so Nintendo for that. Off, like, but what it's I, like, I'm going to school. I'll leave this on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the yeah, you just put like towels over the, the console so you're like, one wouldn't hear it running. <laughs> uh, I used to have to run a bag of ice over my TV. Wrap it in a cool towel, run it over my TV to cool it down. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> University makes you smart. <laughs> oh yeah, so how am I supposed to play Pokemon now? Legally. Go to Rage. What's in Rage? Pokemon. This yeah, but the, the cartridge is still going to run out. It's not. Like, if you really it, it was made 15 years ago. Battery. It's going to run out in well, like 15 to 20 years. In there. No, no, I'm sure it'll work now. I, it will still work. Well, how long but it will. Play the game to work? <laughs> I don't know, I'm still playing Pokemon. <laughs> I still haven't finished it. Which I've one are you playing? Pokemon for about 15 years, sorry. Which one are you playing? The original one. Red. 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 Okay. Red. Yeah. And how are you playing it? <laughs> <laughs> I bought my my friend. <laughs> but you just keep this becoming guy. the master and then just like play it again. Well, sorry. at least it's become well, Pokemon well, okay. master. When I was a kid, I never had a Game Boy. So I used to borrow yeah. people's Game Boys for recess, but I couldn't save over the game. Because yeah. they didn't want me to save over the game. So I just played Pallet Town. Over and over and over and over and over and over again for years. <laughs> I never got out of Palatine. So I, you suck. recently, <laughs> <laughs> it's like five minutes. <laughs> suck at Pokemon. You do. Well, you can. well, when you have fifteen minutes to play a game and ten of those minutes is some old guy going, I forgot you know your name. Perfected. <laughs> What's your name again? Fifteen minutes of play. Sorry. You see, I think over fifteen years you you would have perfected that ten minutes of play. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm really good at that. It's the other twenty five hours that are something here at the moment. I put about 15 hours in. It's like, how many Pokemon can be in this grass? Fuck! Let's keep burning red. I can there's find so them more. There's many Pokemon in the grass. <laughs> Did you catch the rare ones yet? What? Like, there's one rare one? I can't Never mind the rare ones. ones. I can't even fucking catch a Pidgey. They keep running away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you suck, you suck at Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, them the problem is, they, I've got too good. My Pokemon are too strong now, so if I hit them, they die. That's how it works. Oh, you're yeah. too good at Pokemon. I, I'm just too good at Pokemon. The game is broken. <laughs> it's imbalanced for good players. Oh, speaking of which, where's 3D Pokemon? That is true. And where the made fuck made is 3D? 3D First, but someone I'm said a great idea. Take the Skyrim engine, <clears throat> just even that world, model in Pokemon. That's it. You sell that. I, like, I can tell you right now, the development cost will be paid for in the first week. It's amazing that they have made one, isn't it? Like proper 3D. Nintendo are just amazing. Maybe they have something going on in their underground lair, but Nintendo are just really good at. I think it's just the Japanese. Oh, better be careful here. Oh, <laughs> 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 be careful, I say. Do you feel fish? 
<laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no, go on, go on. You think it's just the what? No, it's just. The there is a culture. There is a culture. It's a culture, culture and you know. The game you enjoy making the 2D versions or something. Well, no, that's I don't know because the games are 3D now. They're 3D but 2D. Yeah, no, 3D isometric. isometric. Yeah. So it's not that they don't like 3D. It's that they have a formula and I don't think they want to break the formula. Yeah. And they want to keep going with the that's what, well, Yeah, that's what each iteration. Snap was 3D, wasn't it? Snap, yeah. But that was done it's by a different group, though. It's been us, but it was, it was not. Yeah, I think some of them were like outsourced to like American bunches and stuff, so. Oh, really? Yeah. How well does Snap do? Pokemon Rush? Not so great, I don't think. No? No. Well, maybe maybe that's what turned them off. Maybe they were, yeah. But that's not Pokemon. Well, I mean, at the same time, Pokemon isn't on, you know, that was always a kind of cartoon tie-in, like, you know? Yeah. That's I thought the cartoon came after. Yeah, the cartoon came after. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm, it was it was pretty close, I think. I'm pretty sure the cartoons came after. Okay. Really close. Well, here it came at the same time. Yeah. Because yeah, Pokemon yeah. took so long to get it. Yeah, yeah. We got Pokemon way before the cartoons. Really? Yeah. Well, I well, mean, I mean maybe we get the end of cartoons. I we get films five years late, so really that doesn't mean yeah. anything. So. <laughs> but yeah, you know, there's no, there's no, um, you know, kids don't know it. I don't know. I think a lot of kids do, and even no, and even right even now, never mind the kids, thing. the people who <laughs> grown up now and playing Pokemon, the they're the ones with the money yeah. now. So if you if you made a Pokemon game in 3D, put that out for a hundred euro, you'd still make money. I think. I'm I'd just buy it. I would buy yeah, it for a hundred euro. From our generation Anyone would from our generation would buy it for a hundred euro. I'm waiting for like the that Michael Bay fucking Pokemon movie. Please. Oh man. He's living so up his name. I <laughs> decree, <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bay, make a Pokemon movie. <laughs> 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 from out of space. Oh, <laughs> man. It'd be so epic. It's like every shot, like slow mo Pokemon ball, like going woo. And, and then, like, Missy, Missy would have, like, D, double D news. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And no, I think David Lynch is making It's Pikachu selling it. Make it just me with Smash. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, you would have Justin Bieber in that. Totally would. Who'd be Brock then? Brock. Mm, Brock, Brock, Brock would be, Brock would be re, reboot. Chris Hemsworth. Brock would be. Oh no, I don't know. The Rock. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth. Brock, Brock, Brock would be probably The Rock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a sassy, a sassy Rock, that's be. Is it Taylor Lotter. There you go. How do you know his name? Or Nathan, Out of interest. Is that his name? Oh yeah, is that his name? I don't know, I think it is. Oh. Taylor Lotter. <laughs> where did Taylor Lotter? Yeah, where, where do you come from? Twilight. Yay! Uh, the wolf of Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a Twilight. Twilight. I saw the first Twilight. 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 Wait, The Rock was in Twilight? So did I. It was in Twilight. 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 Really. It was horrible! <laughs> <laughs> Subject matter is terrible. You know what, though? Transformers was worth. Which one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Nice. But, like, I mean, Transformers gets a bit of grief, right? But not as half as much as. Twilight, like. That's true. But the, the whole point of Twilight is that... Just because it, it's for girls, like. Well, no, it's not just for girls, it's like... Teen it's, boys, like. It's for hormones. It's kind of, it's creating it's stereotypes. Hormones, yeah. It's creating dangerous stereotypes, it's like... Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's yeah. the same as Fifty Shades of Grey. The moral state that does work. It's basically cheap. Well, if put it this way. If you sit around and do shit all and endanger your life... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and eventually like, marries your ass and then your life is complete fuck you <laughs> put, it, put it this way it's more likely that some creep stalker guy would climb into someone's bedroom and watch someone while they sleep and someone would think that was romantic than a giant 200 foot <laughs> transformer smashes down my like I'm not going to lie if a 200 foot transformer was in my backyard I would probably creep my pants <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to happen Like, so that's, that's the difference between your pants. Cream or... I'd cream my pants more if a fucking six foot tall bloke cried in my window and then <laughs> Oh man, that's you're oh, using well. the wrong phrase. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you understand what cream pants means. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Like, you know, there's, there's, there's differences in the fantasy 
in that one is <coughs> one is totally unachievable, whereas the other one is scarily scarily achievable. Yeah, and it's it is the robot dangerously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's very it's scary. coming. It's coming from oh, Japan. Japan and waiting. Twenty twenty. already Yeah, they've already got the massive tower. They like do. Robots. They don't move. Oh, they'll move soon. Trust me. Oh, there they're is just one waiting. They're there waiting. There's one that moves. There's a big Gundam that kind of like yeah. It moves it's on the spot, Gundam but it's kind of uh, <laughs> it moves slightly in it. It's, it's like moonwalk, yeah. like sliding back almost. No, no, no. It just it stays on, but I think it like rotates its waist or uh, moves its arms up and down. Or, or is it what those um guys, party rocker guys? What's the dance day shuffle one? Every day I'm shuffling type of thing. Every day I'm shuffling. Does it dance to that? Because if it did, oh my god, that'd be fucking awesome. There would be so many dead people. <laughs> <laughs> The died of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can just picture good dams like fucking doing shuffle dance thing. Good dam style. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't a car ad for the dancing dancing transformer? Oh, the air. Oh yeah, yeah, that was huge. Yeah. What was it? I can't remember the car. All I know is it might be an Audi. Yeah. Is it an Audi? I don't think it was. I think, I think it's an Audi. You'll find. Audi. Seeing as they're German. Audi. Audi. Oh, you're just hitting the man in the park tonight. Really? Just saying. It is an Audi. And yeah. Vorsprung technik. That doesn't sound. No, no, no. Vorsprung no. Dirk technik. Only, only nerds <laughs> put the Dirk in. Okay. <laughs> it's Dirk, actually. That means it's true. Well, cool people are just say Vorsprung <laughs> technik. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Would I not? No. Really? Someone turn the mic off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what all you've been playing now. This week. No, I've been playing Battle of Your Tree Armor Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. Are you selling it as well, yeah? Sorry? Are you selling it as well? Am I which? Selling it. Am I selling? Selling Battle it. Battle of Your Armor Kill. <laughs> 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 and his mom let him keep dying because he's running around on foot. And no, no, no. I kept dying until I figured out what I was doing wrong. Now, people people play engineer. You were getting shot. Mainly, that seemed to be my biggest problem. <laughs> yeah. It's quite difficult to get around it. But I was playing the engineer class, and engineer in the normal games, in, in the normal non armor kill expansion pack, you like you you have rocket launchers and stuff like that. You're anti vehicle basically. But if you try to go anti vehicle or engineer in armor kill, there are so many vehicles. So if you shoot one, they all know where you are. There's a big ass rocket trail leading right back to your heart. Your well, that'd be obvious when you like take aim at like a tank and there's like five other tanks inside. Well, that's exactly the point. So like, if you shoot one. You, you take like three or four shots to down a tank yeah, or two Japanese. You're never going to take them down. So. Yeah, because they're all surrounded by the tanks. But if you go recon, you deal with the infantry completely. Yeah. So That's exactly take, what we how do. How do you take a uh, tank down with recon? You put a thing on the ground, the soft oh, land, to, oh, to mark them, yeah, and yeah, other people yeah. shoot them down. So you just let other people get killed? Well, no, then you go into their base and like root them out, and then you get into the AC 130 and you fly around and you go. Eh, I did not know that. <laughs> that was pretty good. Ah, That's what it sounds like in real life. Most people don't know that. People think it sounds like in the movies, but really, it sounds. And what does it say uh, like in the movies? Uh, Sorry. What does it say like? Oh, everyone knows what it sounds like in the movies. I'm not doing that. So. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing the bass already. <laughs> but it's awesome. Yeah. It's very good. I don't know if it's worth fifty euro or premium, seeing as that's the only expansion pack I've paid. As of now, next one looks good. Did you not get What's more motorbikes? To get motorbikes? No, you get you get all of them. You get I I have close motors so, and strike it strike so car they, whatever. Like no, not worth it at all. No. I mean strike car strike car can strike car can car can that's, car that's it. Yeah. Um, it's basically a reskin of the old maps BF2 maps. Yeah. And they're no. great. They like they're really yeah. Good maps, I love those maps. But I've played them. So yeah, many, I never many, played many times. BF2. So. Well, it might be worth it. You. Yeah. They are very good. What maps, are they close quarters then? I don't know. Have, I, I don't even want to try close quarters. Really? Because it's like, do you know the map Metro in the normal one? Yeah. The close quarters just look like Metro twenty four seven, and I don't want to play that. You, you I'm just not that interested. That. I'm not. I'm not. Pod, I'm not a pod guy. So I'm sure there's people. You were last year. <laughs> well, that was because that's a tree. I would kill. Wasn't there yet? Ah, you got to break it. No, I'll be fine. <laughs> so, like, did you drop out of BF3 and then come back to it because of this? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. It's a pretty good idea. But I, the funny thing is I bought Premium and then totally forgot about Battlefield 3 for ages. And then they did such good marketing about um, on Armored Kill 
that I went straight back in. And actually, if I think about it, it's really, it really is just a map pack with a few added additions. It's nothing. The gameplay changes because it's more it's powerful. It's only marketing maps, though, really. It's just maps. maps. Uh, you did, like, isn't there, wasn't there a whole list of other stuff you get? Like, video tutorials and... <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> extra guns and All stuff. All I know is that I'm in a big flying thing that shoots cannons. <laughs> which, actually, in the game is terrible. And doesn't do very much. But, yeah, I don't know. They, they, they market it really well. And for some reason, I don't feel like I'm being ripped off the way Activision makes me feel like I'm being ripped off. Activision did it. Pray out. Whoever, whoever's making games these days. Yeah, see, there. I know passes. Fucking yeah, yeah, but I mean... Online passes and crap. And season pass. Yeah. Doesn't it work, every, every, doesn't every it work differently, games, though? Yeah. In, in, it, doesn't it work differently? Because... I guess it does fragment you anyway when you're in Battlefield, like if you're playing a game. I don't know how to explain this, but if you don't have the latest map pack in Call of Duty, it does seem like all the players migrate to whatever the latest map pack is, and it's not enough to yeah. play the, the, the original pack. Whereas I went back to try and play my original Battlefield 3 maps, and loads of people were still playing that, so I, I didn't feel like, personally, I don't think I would have felt like I lost out if I hadn't gone through it. Mm. So, but when you're checking out like COD and stuff and that, were you checking out on console or PC? PC. Okay. PC is dead. I yep. turned on my, think, my, my think Modern Warfare. Major, no, 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 PC isn't dead. I mean, PC right. Modern Warfare is dead. Yeah. yeah. I turned Pretty on Modern Warfare. Yeah, I, I had, I, I have Modern Warfare 2 logged on the other day, and all I got was like aimbots and a bunch of like 25 times prestige guns. It's so hacked and modded and. Well, like, that happened about this the other day as well. So. I think yeah. that's. I mean, I I I went on Black Ops for the first time in ages just to for the laugh, because I've been playing Battlefield Three on PlayStation, and it was it was still packed full of people. Yeah. Or were they all? Were they all newbies? Or were they all, were they all like prestige twenty five? Is that PlayStation or PC? Oh, right? PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a lot better. On Those games, games are kind of designed for console market, really. Like, yeah. You know. Whereas Battlefield Three seems to be a bit. More PC mm. oriented. It seems it generally just because you're generally just because you're playing it on. I don't think so, honestly. Uh, I think there's more people. It looks better, it. but that's just technology. Well, the 64, yeah. 64 people per map is pretty. Yeah, the thing well, with, that's the same Call of Duty yeah, is that yeah. the majority of COD players generally play COD or FIFA, and that's it. And they have a PlayStation or Xbox. Yeah. And they have true. next to no clue about upgrade about the PC and upgrade it. Anything yeah, respects yeah, nothing. True. All they do is play COD or FIFA, yeah. and that's it. You're never happy with those, and that's why. I mean, from uh, console, like. from EA's perspective, it's a pretty good move. Like, I think to you know instead of trying to have to hype this new game, although yeah. they did drop the ball a bit with the whole Battlefield Four thing <laughs> there, but yeah, I think it's cool that they can you know. You can stretch it over two years <coughs> instead of just firing on eight every year. Every like year. Activision. Yeah. You feel know. like they have to or something, you know. I reckon that's why they have that two four coming up because they think they have to keep up with Activision. Well, what they do? It's but that won't be Activision though. Activision you know, do Call of Duty. Twenty Christmas twenty thirteen probably. But that's still a yearly cycle. And, and pretty much. No. Yeah. Two years last Sure, stage. Battlefield's been out. Battlefield 3's been out. Yeah, last October. Year. Has it? Yeah, yeah. Come out last October. Oh, Jesus, been <laughs> a year ago, pretty much. Yeah. That was a, cri- that was a Christmas release. Well, well, what's That's what I got for Christmas last year. But the right? thing is, Battlefield 3 and Skyrim. The previous, <laughs> the, 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 the year <laughs> between the previous <laughs> releases was quite a bit bigger, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, because they were building Frostbite 2 and stuff. And yeah. They, they were migrating over. Do you reckon they're gonna have Frost by Tree? Battlefield Four. People are saying they're um, Well, that'll be next know. gen. Next gen. I read a thing about well, next gen console. Yeah. But yeah. Well, Frost by Two will be will be it's fairly. Uh, well, let's face it, guys. Most anyway. people don't have the power to play PC. You know. I would. I mean, have. I've got quite a fast laptop. I try and play Battlefield Three on it. Just overheats and. I would kind of disagree. That definitely was the case. Crap. And. I just know that when I'm playing on the PlayStation that everyone else is having the same experience as me, solely based on their connection speed. No. You, know? <laughs> you must put more money in. But that's you like, I, I'm playing on a PC like fucking shit all like four or five years now at this stage. I'm playing Skyrim and shit on it. It's like fucking no problem. Skyrim, I, yeah. No, well, so, Skyrim, yeah. You do no. get hit and miss on games on PC like that, but it is like, fuck it, it works. Like, you might be on like yeah, mid I mean, to low fucking I'm not to knock PC gaming, but... 
I've just had bad experiences with it in the past. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, totally. No, I, I absolutely get it. You get, 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 get home, right? You get home from work. You've been staring at a screen all day. You want to just sit down and play a game. Sit down, yeah. try and play a game. It's like it's all a driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think there's like, a bit of a leg. Some program I've been installed has is conflicting. But, you know all this kind of stuff uh, but that's like, like most of the like PC games coming out now like from Steam is like you always see DirectX like installing this fucking rundown shit yeah that's on. true yeah. but that's because every single one that makes sure that they have got the right one and like that's like make it an easier process for you because even like that now with Steam Big Picture I've got my PC up to my TV and I'm mm-hmm. just playing with a fucking controller yeah and just makes everything so much handier except for like the few games like fucking Grand Theft Auto 4 it's like, oh, here's your activation code for fucking social fucking club or some shit. <laughs> and the game just won't start because of that. Really? Yeah, it's like, oh, no, you've got the wrong is password. Is this from Big Picture? Or... Um, no, this is just like true, like, um, actual Grand Theft Auto, like, executable. It's like, okay, we're starting up this, and it pops up a little screen. It's like, okay, here's your code or something for this. To you think it it. Well, like, it keeps giving me, like, wrong password for social clubs. So I'm like, fuck this, I might even bother playing the game. Yeah, I think the wrong Windows Live is kind of like that, too. Okay. No, yeah, against one of the It's like I know a fucking login, but fuck it. Well, I gave up playing that on my PlayStation because every time I tried to play a gun, I would fall through the world <laughs> <laughs> here nice. on the fr- in the middle of the road <laughs> beside the guy who was trying to sell me the gun, who was just running on spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, fuck. when I got pissed off and trying to run him over, uh, he smashed my car. <laughs> Best bug ever. <laughs> no, worst bug. It was funny, right? But then I can't buy any fucking guns. Just kill someone and pick up theirs. Uh, I don't think I ever bought one. Yeah, but then I have to, you know, you have to go skating around. Go, I want a gun. Do you have a gun? I'll buy you first. <laughs> you know, I've got card hold. Card hold. Card hold. I want to spend it on weaponry. Yeah. yeah, that was the end of that game for me, man. Yeah. Do you even get far into it? Yeah, yeah, far enough. Yeah. That's a game I finished a few times and I didn't even realise it is. Really? Yeah, I just kept playing through it. was like, yeah, yeah, let's go again. I don't know, I'm, I'm not the biggest GTA. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's the open world structure kind of... Oh, yeah, it's, 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 not, it's open to world, to yeah, there's nothing to do in it. Like, just drive around. But that oh, was yeah, San Andreas is. had that big problem that it was gigantic but there wasn't that much to do in it. Yeah, yeah between the cities, just open space. I really like San Andreas. Cause I really like San Andreas as well. Because you're not just driving around a big city of grey buildings. You, you, you see, like, yeah. you know, go up into the woods and find, like, like cabins and be like a little story. Kind of like Skyrim, you know, it's, Kind of emergent sort of. It was a bit sparse though. It was. It was a bit sparse. Giant space. The time it was amazing. I never liked San Andreas. I mean, Red Red Dead was sparse as well, but just I don't know because it looks so beautiful. Like which one? Red Dead. Dead. Oh, Red Dead. Yeah. But Red Dead makes sense because that's a Wild West. It was sparse back then. Yeah. Now it's wooden street. But no, but still, I it didn't bother me as much because like you'd you'd go and you know you'd be riding over to another base and. Just kind of stop and look and go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a pretty game. Yeah, it's really pretty. pretty like, yeah. Well, it has good okay, graphics as well. Like Liberty Sonic Race. Yeah. No. The new yeah. the new GTA looks really pretty. They always look great. Yeah. Oh, that's a high spec PC footage you're looking at. <laughs> well, well you're getting a PC it looks like I have a high spec PC. It looked nice for you. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, I think I think that PC legacy of like, oh, I need to upgrade every few months. That's, that's gone true. now. It is gone. It used to, it definitely used to be the case, but it's totally gone. Mm-hmm. Games, because games have gone so much for console, they aren't putting as much effort in pushing the the envelope anymore. These things are better optimized as well. Yeah. Scale well, I think just because it's a long, it has been a long cycle between consoles. Oh, it's this time seriously now, long, yeah. Um, that it's. The difference in the last year or two is so noticeable between yeah. PC games and console games because just the technology is way cheaper and yeah, pretty old. Plus they've got you know five fucking years of of uh, experience and going yeah. into that. Like, you know. Well, we're into next year. Seven, the seventh year of Xbox. Like. Yeah. Oh, so 2006, or 2005. Is there 2005. definitely going to be no announcements next year? I mean, um, no, no, no. Microsoft, all, all that's kind of almost. Certain is Microsoft are going to a new Xbox or a new console. Nothing from Sony though, like they haven't said. Anything. I find it, I find it highly suspect that Halo Four is meant for this console, this Why? Xbox 360. I think, still, it's still, I think it's almost going to do that. like um, fucking Zelda Twilight Princess type of thing. It's like oh, we're for all, yeah. like old series yeah. as well as new. Yeah, bring, it bring the last 
bit of light there. Like, yeah. I think they're afraid to release really new consoles. I don't even think they, they really know what, what to do. Well, now. Valve is going to give them a kick such up the ass. Yeah, that's true. They just don't know what to do. Valve, Valve whatever, Valve are coming up with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, was it going to release like beta hardware like the next couple of months or something? Really? Yeah, that's yeah that's like, there was something like that. It was like, okay, we've got like some fucking half ass gizmo thing. We're just going to fuck it out there and see what happens. The half ass thing is probably going to be better than the Xbox and yeah. PC. Although, I don't know. Console just doesn't, it doesn't really make sense for me. Yeah? yeah. I think consoles might, might very well be dead. Yeah. I don't think they are dead, but... Think unless, not yet. Unless well, it's in the future, yeah, because it's anything possible. It does close I mean, at GDC this year, Xbox. I've heard so much talk of, you know, okay, the first the first computer games were like arcade games, you know, and then kind of moved into the home, and then arcade died in the 90s. And now they're saying that like it's all mobile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mobile. don't really buy it. I don't buy Mobile's it. Mobile's dying. I, I don't buy it yet. The mobile bubble is dying. Mm-hmm. It's actually coming back to a fucking sustainable level. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Topic gaming is kind of on the up a little bit. And Vita is cool, you know. But the Portable cool. gaming could be a place that come, comes back. I think. Like that Vita was quite interesting. Vita is amazing. Yeah. It's okay. I mean the battery life is Great. still quite bad on it. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. For what for what you're playing, it's like I four totally hours. Don't agree. Like I think I'd play, stick around the battery dry and fly home from San Francisco. Same or charted. Oh, I don't know. I've got to say, like I, six, seven I prefer a twelve hour battery life. That's like if I was going to get a portable device. Yeah, but when, where are you going to be for? Where are you going to be for twelve hours? Like like you charge, you know. Like, but that's even not just it's one stint. You, you do play for a bit, you throw it in your bag, then you yeah. come back to your bag and just do that. You don't even think, oh yeah, fuck, yeah. I should charge it between really now and then. It's great for that. It's great for that because it's, the sleep on it is, is really powerful. It's like you tap it, goes in the sleep, tap it. Within half a second, you're playing the game straight yeah. away, you know? On a, like a AAA experience on a, on a handheld voice. It's, yeah, it's really impressive. I do think handheld's going to come back a little bit, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. know. I mean, I had a PSP like, and that would be hard, but... The PSP yeah, was so PSP bad. Though, it it was the PSP has so much promise in the way they. Anyway, well, not even even the later ones in the way, just the way they handled mm. getting getting games onto the PSP. Yeah. They handled that so badly. The OD yeah. yeah. and the, the noisy, yeah. really noisy. And wasn't the best experience I had with my PSP is when I cracked it, put a SNES emulator. <laughs> 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 like. That doesn't say much. Like, yes, yeah, getting used. I mean, like, but that's even like the best mind. games that PSP got like poured over as like fucking HD versions for PS3 and shit. Now. Yeah. It's like, yeah. That was a that's fucking Metal Gear now. And that was a big problem in Japan and stuff. That's just Monster, Monster Hunter. Yeah. yeah. Monster Hunter, yeah. That's what kept that game alive there. Everywhere. Sure, it still even recently is like still that. outselling Vita because of that. Yeah. 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 Software, like, yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. yeah. Sales sales sit on the much Tokyo people. Underground, right? Just play Monster Hunter with people. Yeah. Randomized. Yeah. That's so it's weird. It's so weird. Over there, they have a totally different gaming culture. Oh, yeah. They choose yeah. one game and play that for Obsessive years. Yeah, yeah. That's so weird. And then make the same game. Yeah. They just play upgrades and sell a lot of them. But is it, do you reckon it's a cultural difference or like it's just the way yeah, they do it? So. Like, they, if you look at their game charts, the, 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 weird, the weird types of games that they play, they wouldn't. It wouldn't last two seconds over here. No, no, but what, what I'm asking is like, is that because they're used to it, or is it literally an actual cultural difference? Like, people brought up over there would prefer different games. Like, because I was brought up in that well, ish part of the world, mm. and I pretty much played the same games as, and people I was growing up with would have played the same games as people here would have, even though we would have a different ish culture. Hard to say. I've never been to Japan. That's, That's true. Nice. I haven't been to Japan either. So. Been to China. The, the arcade was still alive there in certain parts. Mm. Yeah, yeah, arcade is big over there. It's um, it might be, it might just be because people don't have as much disposable income. Yeah, to true. actually get consoles. Yeah, because I mean, I guess Japan is different, but in China, like PSP, oh, that's when I, I still have my PSP. I was trying to buy games over there, thinking they'd be way cheaper. It's all. It's I mean, also everything right. costs exactly the same. Like, yeah. as opposed to you. It's also a bit. I don't know when arcades were here. Were they a social thing? Would you go like with your friends? Oh, yeah, you know. Okay, so that's strange. Street Fighter Two. Yeah. Are there, like, any, are there any really good game or not games arcades here anymore? 
Is it's Quirky's really close? Good. Quirky's is long gone, isn't it? Or is it Dr. Quirky's yeah. is still there. Still so there. Yeah, well, that, I, that's but it's all I don't think I've ever mentioned that arcade place, though. It close off the Quirky's. Did it actually? Oh, yeah, it was huge. It was all over here. There's no yeah. arcade now. It's like well, there is, toss it's a penny. It's pretty small. Yeah, it's, it's like driving games, a few racing games. Yeah, Leisure Plex. Yeah, Time Splitters and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But just generic stuff. Well, generally, generally, when when arcades were big, you couldn't get the same experience in your home, you know. And then when, once consoles came in and yeah. came big, oh, you just blew my mind. Like, what happens if they have an Oculus Rift Connect kind of thing going on, and you have to go to bed okay. because people can't put it in? Man, they used to, they used to have those VR things. Yeah, they were terrible. <laughs> yeah, oh. but that's because the technology was crap. But imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Office Rift now. Wasn't um, that crap? Like, actually. Email me at basilabiscuitgames.com. <laughs> I will give away 40% equity for two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realised I put my email on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't edit these things, so. You will add it. No. Yeah. You at least change it so it's. So. so it's it's yeah, just like. Yeah, just like. Just like. Just like. Do do a do a John McLean edit of it. Do you hear what they they, no. they do to like die hard yeah. phrases? It's a melon farmer. farmer. Yeah. <laughs> what? You the guy melon farmer? Yeah. Melon yeah. farmer. Did you duck my wife? <laughs> no, I didn't duck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Johnny Bob covered this. So we're ripping it. Ah oh, no! Oh, Fuck it. Old. Restart. Restart. Fuck that's it. Oh, ITV. Back in the day. It's an ITV device. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, you mother fudger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I told my little cousin from Mother Trucker. They were delighted. <laughs> I'm sure their parents weren't. Never came back to me. Self bot! Woo! So that like yeah, we talked about what we played. But that's fairly good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. We, we managed to keep on like. <laughs> <laughs> you said you haven't had time for yeah. games. We played Borderlands no, One all weekend last weekend. Talk about talk about that crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I enjoyed it, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long I've put into it. An hour. I don't hour? really feel like I'm gonna go back. Like I got the PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Subscription. It's like 20, 25 percent off, 30, 35 quid or something like that for a year, and it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving. I'm just getting all the free games. Yeah, yeah. When the V like, like, yeah. comes out in November. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I think it's really good. Have the same it's really good. Really good. Cross platform subscription. Uh, Sony's a way to cross go. Cross platform play it? as well. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're kicking Xbox last. They really are. They're doing. They're being so smart about how they market indie games and. Games yeah, in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. promoting like, like the likes of like back then from games and stuff. I'm hearing so much, so much Amazing. grief about Xbox when you yeah. go into the new Xbox, um, what do you call it, place? Xbox Live, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, it's like, and and yeah, it's just it's Hulu full of, and it's Netflix full of red tape and, and shit. It's got a oh, you mean the actual yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah. dashboard, then. yeah, yeah. And sure, like you have to pay, to yeah. Pay yeah. Pay yeah, you do have to pay. Some of my later was that that's bullshit. It's only for some games. Is it? Yeah. I, like my, I've always been sub to it, right? My sub ran out in May. <coughs> Shit, I won't be able to play online anymore. Put in, I can't remember what it was. Um, fuck, what was it? Some online game and played online straight away. It's Splunky. Splunky. Really? Splunky online? online? Yeah. Well, the leaderboards and stuff. But they specifically oh. say that leaderboards, co op, online play is gold only, which is complete rubbish. And also demos for marketplace are gold only. I downloaded a couple of demos. What is no, that? I thought the what demos were like timed gold. gold or something. Um, well, I, I'm pretty it's like sure a week or two. demos were kind of within a few days of, of them going up. And so then, it's just like you get them first, or you can only ever. Be there's certain play a content demo. that's blocked by you not having gold. Like the FIFA 13 demo, you need gold to download. Oh but man, then, you got you got to have that FIFA 13. Oh uh, yeah, fucking. It just if you FIFA 12, FIFA 12, now, you FIFA 12. the ball. FIFA 12 is not in a FIFA 13. <laughs> or 8 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of bullshit. Like, so, I know. It hasn't stopped me from getting the full experience, the full Xbox experience. I know. Yeah. You know? For like, like some Netflix and stuff, are they actually like... I don't know. I don't use it on, like, on Xbox. 
and it's even even screen. for developers, it's that thing about a forty thousand euro or dollar update for like a second for two updates, yeah, for what like it's for like twenty grand or something seriously for 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 the patch for the patch. I can't. The, the insane. biggest titles come up with patches. In Skyrim, I can't, I can't even count them. How many patches do I have? Yeah. But I guess they want to discourage developers from just like endlessly handing them a patch of things. Yeah, but then that, that encourages you to do two things. One, leave a broken game up. Or two, make a game that's <coughs> really simple. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> uh, you, got, you, got, you got a bit of Phil, Phil Fish caught in your throat there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or make a game that has no depth so you can get it airtight because the more layers of depth and complexity you add to a game you're obviously going to come up with more bugs i'm sure there's maybe there is a game out there somewhere which is has layers and layers deep of complexity wow. that has shit with no bugs but i can't think of <laughs> anyone and have you run out of time no no i'm just checking the time i gotta go we'll be getting the others in soon anyway so cool. <laughs> So we suppose we like go on to like their actual discussion talk with green light now soon? I guess we should. Sure. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Let's pause. Let's do let's do the outro music. Okay, outro now, go! <laughs> That's so harsh on my ears right now. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, we're back. Oh, that sounded so, that's so harsh on my ears right now. Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm my sorry. God. Please don't like him. He's a little crabby. He didn't get his diet anymore. Who's that? Who's that voice? That wasn't in the first part of the podcast. Who's that? Ralph, Who's have you changed your voice? Ralph has got a little Yeah, the snip like this. Put it away, man. Stop it! Oh god. I'll start with the second job. Oh. <laughs> it's like holy shit, a parrot. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, we're going to start talking about Steam Greenlight because you guys are on it. <sighs> yeah. oh. Just give us votes. Give us more votes. Where votes, votes. That's all you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. We're nearing the top 100. No, by eighty-seven percent of the way to be the top 100. Yeah. Which means God knows what. Ten percent more. What does that mean? It doesn't though. It means like out Oops. of all the other competitors, to be in the top 100, we are in the top what 13 percent. No, that doesn't mean that at I all. I don't even get it. They could be. Nobody they could it. be all like there's 700 games on now. The other 600 games could all have 87 percent rating at the same time as well. Mm. They're just not in the top 100 percent. Where do you see this 87 percent? Is it oh, just like on the author? I think it was a new thing today. Yeah. yeah. It, like, we used, there used to be a thing, the first week it was up, you could see how many people, like, what percentage of people that voted gave you um, thumbs up or thumbs down. Yeah. Or whatever. And that would open down. Then that just kind of disappeared. Right. And then it was just like, you are 1%, oh, you have received 1% of upvotes required to get on Steam. And it was which was completely arbitrary and nobody knew. Well Val did say that, that that number is arbitrary. Yeah. And then when they <laughs> when they when they passed the top ten games to get in, they jumped from thirty percent all the way to hundred percent. So basically you ran the terms on mark. Well no, it, it, I don't think that the, the actual percentage of rating mattered to Val. Mm. I think they just wanted to see the popularity because it was the top ten that got in bar slender source. But isn't it wasn't was a rating second. wasn't a rating the popularity. What like well, well, the rating was the amount of upvotes you got, yeah. yeah. But it I wasn't that you needed to reach 100%. I don't think any of them actually hit 100 No, no none of them hit 100%. So. They, were. they obviously set the internal number for that quite high, ridiculously high at the start. Well, or something. 200,000 or something? Yeah, no, it was a crazy it's number. Percent. No, it was 200, yeah, 200,000 rates you needed, upvotes. Um, and the top one was grossing at 10 views per vote. So you, they would have needed 2 million views. On Steam, which is green light, which is yeah. quite yeah. high. Which is yeah. more sales than most Steam games do in total. Yeah. Anyway. So, I mean, I, I don't blame them for that number because that was obviously an arbitrary number they yeah. were deciding, but I, I do wish we'd get more info it on be, what it all should this be more accurate, means. you know, let us know exactly what that means, you know. 
it would be easier for us to track them. On the other time. hand, though, they don't want their system getting abused. And if they put it up and they feel like humans are a genius, one of us will find a way to, to rip it off or stab it or something. If, if, they knew, if we knew exactly what was going on there. But then don't give us the number because, like, we're, we're, we're scratching no, the No, give me the number. Mean? I want the number. No, I mean, <laughs> the, the number that we have now. There's no point giving us this without any sort of meaning or, you know. There is. It gives you a, a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. We're 87% of the way to something. <laughs> so it sounds good. Yeah. Cool. When we get to top 100, we'll be like, yay. I mean, look at our tweets today. We're, we, we tweeted out, we're 87% yeah. of the way to God knows what. Help us. But, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was kind so of what. Help us. It's better to say you're just close to something rather than, uh, we're doing good, you guys. Help us out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's better that we have this totally random arbitrary number that nobody understands than nothing at all. I'd rather more information than but I saw some I saw some tweets about games that are around 70 and 80% on the votes required to hit the top 100. And there were some pretty, pretty, some <coughs> pretty good games, you know. But then they might have gone up later than us, or, you know. Like yeah, we have been there since the start. We, we were there since day one. So, like, the, it, it, 60% of our 87% of votes could have came in the first couple of days, that, probably not. Yeah. That's what I question as well. I don't, know if, I don't know if Steam has put in a sort of time, time variable to their function. Because if it's if it is just sit there for ten years and get enough votes to get onto Steam Greenlight, that I'm sure they thought of that. Well, it must be a time. Technically, variable. we can go down a percent if, if we're competing. Down, if we're competing for top one hundred, it means that we should be going down. Oh yeah, that makes it. That's a very good point. So if we if we if we got to <coughs> or we get into top one hundred, and all of a sudden some other games end up getting more votes than us, do we do we stay there? Or do we drop out? Of well, room? what Val did say in the publication was that it's not based on the actual popularity of your game. It's mm. based on the popularity of your game relative to the other games in Greenlight. So that would make sense. If of the 800 games on Greenlight... That, say again. How would I aggregate that? Though? Well, that's, that's where getting to the top 100 comes in. If you get to the top 100, you're obviously one... Like... 10% higher than the well, rest. Well, hang on, guys. It's also like, um, the, <laughs> there's like, they're going to release, you know, some will get onto Steam, so um, then that will reduce the amount of top 100, you know? Yeah, yeah so, no, that, that, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because then whoever's left will still be compared relative to the rest of Greenlock. So that may be the way they're doing it. But you won't be dropping out of the top 100. No, you won't. Yeah. But you, yeah. you, you like, your rating will still be based on. I wonder if they'll just get, get in, you know, get the bring in that top one hundred every time. Maybe, but then that would have a that's lot. That's an of, awful lot of games. Though, that's right? an awful that lot. That sounds of games. like way more than they normally accept oh. on on a regular basis. Hundred games. But they have, they be, have accepted be, some weird might games. Might be hundred one hundred games a month, probably now. You know. But we, I, I don't know how many games Steam oh, yeah. accepts. Yeah, they seem true. to have a lot of games on there. Yeah. So. It's hard to know. It is hard to know. There's All also, we know is that the higher we get into the 100s, the better chance we have of getting on. I've also seen reports that people have currently, even while Greenlight was going, got onto Steam without going through Steam Greenlight. Now, I don't know whether they started the application process yeah, before Greenlight have. happened. Greenlight isn't the only way to get on. No, Steam. that's what they have said. Yeah, it's not the only way to get on. It's kind of weird, though, isn't it? No, I don't think so, because it just it just makes it easier for them to... So would we submit to, great, to Steam as well? You submit to... You, yeah. yeah. Have you spoke to Steam in, like previously before this? No. At no, all, no. no. Greenlight is our first... I mean, we've talked to the Steam people. Help, I'm being smarter than the <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, stop playing with yourself. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> don't worry, you'll be going home soon. <laughs> Uh, where, where were we? <laughs> we're talking about Steve. <laughs> Percentages. So so basically all we know at the moment is we're eighty seven percent and once we get into No no but we don't we don't know we're eighty seven percent. We don't know what eighty seven percent of the way to the way to the top the same, the same thing. Yeah. And and, <laughs> it, and it shows us our daily daily rates Which compared to the low. average of the top one hundred. Well the thing is, yeah. does that mean when you get to the top one hundred the way Steam only shows you 12 games at a moment. Do they? Do they? Does Steam show you the top 100 games preferentially in that top 12? See, that's the thing. Nobody knows. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know about any of this stuff. All, all we know is all, all we know is what we can see, and what we can see is that we're 87% of the way there. 
But I, I, I think it might because I didn't vote for quite a few games that I, I wanted to vote for purely because I wanted to see what happened. And they did show up a lot in my feed. Like when, when I was refreshing mm. to start getting the games up, the, the games that had a, a lot of votes, games that I liked as well, I kept an eye on them and they were consistently showing up a lot more than other games. So they, they, I think there is something to do with once you get to the top 100, you may have more visibility. You might which, have more visibility. Yeah, which true. increases your Makes sense. Levels. It does make sense, but visibility is very bad on Greenlight now. I think that the I think fact that's that going to be a big problem going forward. Anyway, that's probably one of the biggest challenges in the phase. I think the biggest you know. chal- the problem they have right now is I get that they make twelve games, so you only have twelve to get through. But once it's finished, they should automatically generate a new queue. I, right now, you have to do the twelve games, click refresh to get a new yeah. set of games. So they, I mean, they're going in the right direction. They they've added in like. Filters as well, which is great. Will it maintain? Will it maintain the filters aren't working though. The big problem I think it might have is maintaining voters. Aside from I think so. Aside yeah. from uh, games that already have, that already may have like a following or you know a, a fan base. Um, you know, will your average Joe Soap, you know, oh I'm going to check Greenlight today, you know, and look through twenty pages of games and, and click on stuff that he looks I don't nice. Think they will. That, he goes, oh, you know, maybe this game we're going to see, well, maybe it won't. Well, but, you know, I mean, Valve, that, Valve are kind of smart. Then. Maybe they'll incentivize it. Well, they, maybe if you look through 20 pages of Greenlight, yeah, maybe if you look through 20 pages of Greenlight, you get a free hat in Valve. Yeah. And you have to or if you rate certain amount, or if you, you know, comment in a certain amount. Something, something to keep them in, because what's the incentive, you know? To vote on games that they may never, ever see on see. Maybe you get free on games you vote for, you get cheaper. You get a discount. I do that. Or if you bought the game and it gets released, you get like something. Are you listening, Val? Yeah. Because it's all to have like fucking. Val. Yeah. When's that game coming out? Tomorrow. Well, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it out tomorrow? It's already out. Val. What? It's already out. It's on Steam right now. Just do a search for it. <laughs> Black Mesa. Oh, hang on, that's not a Valve game. Oh, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Black oh, Mesa. They're made, they're working on. That's what I've been playing. Uh, this is Black the wrong Mesa. section. <laughs> yeah, we're totally past that, man. Black Mesa's great. Oh, yeah, it's playing The Walking Dead, too. Anyway, go on. Give them more. <laughs> they deserve your money. Yeah, you remember. No, you can't give them money. You can't. Yeah, you no, you can't. No. Well, I mean, maybe you can contribute. Sure. I don't think so. It feels dirty. I don't. Free. Yeah, but yeah. on the other hand, Valve has protect their IP, so I don't think they can. We're getting distracted here. Yeah, but like, just like, <laughs> yeah, so they, they, they have to defend the, the IP because if they let them have it and some other unsolicited person does it as well, they can't defend that in court because the court yeah, will say, look, you didn't defend against this one. Well, hopefully they get some kick-ass jobs out of it or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say They've been doing it for like eight years. Yeah. They probably already have the jobs. Yeah, I think anyone true. who says I work on Black Mesa will get a job. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, okay, I don't know, but uh, yeah. I think they're it's a good performance piece anyway. Mm-hmm. But yeah, green light. I don't know. Wait and see. Wait and see. It's, Wait and it's, see. It's it's it's, it's not like we've, there's no aggregate. There's no sort of like we can't just really we can't really you know just, obviously the games that have been released on our little bar are games I probably would have gonna see them anyway. You know. Yeah. It just. Is that what it's going to turn into? Games that already have user bases, you know, getting pushed out of Steam to Greenlight, you know, and the, the games like our game or whoever from Studio has no followings and no support. Well, right, we, you know, no, we have support. We, we, we do, but on a, on a not, not scale of, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, like, are we competing with those games to go on to service? That's well, I mean, about. you can say that, but, like, you know what? For a, a massive worldwide multi-million people using mm. the system it has gone really well for the for the first launch day the fact that it didn't be crashed on the first launch day yeah. and then like steam when it first launched was atrocious yeah and now people revere it so i don't I'm know sure valve, in a few months it'll be pretty solid i don't know about a few months but valve definitely have a tradition of iterating until they get yeah. there so yeah they are doing it quite fast. I mean, it's they not, are. It's not They're doing like on, near daily like, changes on their iPhone. It's yeah. like I have, I I so don't envy the people working on Greenlight, but they're doing it. I think they're doing a hell of a job. Yeah, the challenge remains about getting people in to vote. 
Sorry. Yeah, green lights are better. Yeah. It is all up in the air. They're the only ones doing, you know, they're taking them. They're trying to take them. Like, you know, it's something fresh. Yeah, exactly. And they're trying to help us out at the end of the day. So. Yeah. And we have, what is it, 19,000 views from people that may not have ever seen this before? Yeah, yeah. You know, if, so. if a chunk of them buy the game, then. Even if a lot of them have been pointing out that Koo means assholes, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't Only when it's spelled it's with spelling. a C. Which Koo Kwan would have anyway. I love I know, no, I think the final probably isn't there. Really? So it's called an oxon. Actually, it's, it's too low. What? Is it in French? No, it's just. Uh, I think it's uh, Portuguese. Wonder Slide of Oscar Wilde. We call it Oscar Wilde. I think it is Portuguese. Yeah. But yeah. It would have happened anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm What's sure. the mean again? What? What's the mean again? Asshole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, put it well, this way. We'll have to do a localization for. It's, for my it's, a, it's not like, oh, come on, like, how many people speak Portuguese? What, like 210 million people? Yeah, it's nothing. 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 Not, not. Compared to people like only, speak only Irish. Only 210 million people. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a localization for Portuguese. We'll call it Super Happy Fun. Well, I mean, I don't that know. The biggest I don't know what you get up to in your free time, bro. It's kind of like if you look at the Mitsubishi Pajero. <laughs> hey, uh, you, cool. Which is only marketed in Ireland and Japan, but everywhere else in Europe, it's Spanish for uh, <laughs> wanker. So, yeah. <laughs> Never knew that. Whenever you see someone driving a Mitsubishi Pajero, you're just like, ah! Yeah, like, I mean, it's Pinto if, or something. Pinto, Pinto yeah, yeah, Pinto. Clio had something as well, didn't it? Was it? I don't know. I think that's what it was, Clio. Yeah. But yeah, well, if, if, both, you know, if a multi million dollar corporation can do that, I think we get, I think we get a bit slack. Totally fine. Considering none of us speak Portuguese. We just want to translate in Portuguese. I can barely speak English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. But anyway, we got a, we got a deal on Gamerscape to end with. Yeah. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. So I don't know if we can talk about that. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we leave it there. <laughs> we'll so Green Eye has been yeah. good to us, basically. Yeah. It has been good to us. Yeah. Good to us. Is, like good things have happened. Could be better, but everything could be. And it could it be better, but also if it didn't exist. Well, like we didn't get a completely know. ripped apart as well, which is kind of. We got some great feedback. Yeah. We got some really good feedback. Uh, no multiplayer. No, actually, there's no anti eating. Like you know, as well, but that's to be expected. Your game has no anti eating, and yeah, and no just there. Where's the particle effects on <laughs> your hand drawn game? Uh, well, that's the internet for you. There is particle effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't see any normal maps normal in there, okay? <laughs> no, you fail. But yeah. Uh, most, most, most of the comments have been for positive. I'd, so say, that's I'd, cool. say like, I'd say like 80% at least. <laughs> oh, I would say even higher than 80% positive. Positive. Uh, 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 and, and, and a lot of them have been... <laughs> and for the bad, some of them were actually kind of constructive. Constructive criticism, you know? absolutely. So, <laughs> so, so there's the hassle of crappy, crappy comments. Well, help the parents, I should say. Don't use music in the trailer that's meant for boss fights. <laughs> We've learned things from it, you know? And, like, generally it's not been a bad experience at all, really. It was a stressful first two days. First two days were, yeah, yeah pretty good. I brutal. couldn't sleep, I was dreaming of being like, oh, we were, we were Why? Scared. You took it way too, up, too it, much to heart. I wake like, up and go, oh well, man, I was like, I had charts in my head and fucking data points. And yeah. I think the problem was we went through. up without a trailer. First day I was, where I went live, we went up without a trailer, and half the comments were like, not voting until I see a trailer. And Baz is freaking out because we got a trailer ready. Gameplay. Well, in, in fairness, if. Gameplay trailer, yeah. Once we did get the gameplay trailer, the comments stopped talking about it. It's not about it. Well, like. The direction of the comment trailer changed. <laughs> yeah, we needed, we needed to get that out because what I did find is that one, a, a negative comment leads to more negative comments. Hmm. And, a, and a, conversely, a good comment leads to more. Good comments. It, it, well, sometimes of, sometimes you have you guys stepping in going, here, hang on a minute, what are you talking about? It looks yeah, great. you do, but you can't rely on that. You have to put your best face forward all the time. You've got to be careful, though, because you, it's like John Lowe syndrome, where you know you, 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 you start telling everyone you know, that your opinion's wrong. But we don't or, tell them. We, we change it based on their opinion. That's where it's different. Well, yeah, okay. 
I, mean, I, I didn't go. I didn't love. I know you going. didn't kind of specifically say no, you're wrong, but you know, like the game is obviously in development. I mean, you have people saying, uh, I, I don't think I don't know if that's an excuse because I was going through voting the other green light games, and people will be putting up stuff saying this game is only pre alpha, this game is only in beta. Mm. After the first thirty games, I really don't care. I judge on what I see, what I read, and what is there right then and there. If your screenshots don't look good. I'm going to try my best to give you the, the, the benefit of the doubt, but in all honesty, it is going to sway my opinion. So you do have to have your best foot out there, and I would say don't go and read light if you're not ready. Because mm. you will get, you will get negative point. feedback. Don't go and read light if you're ready. But then, again, a lot of negative feedback is unsolicited trolls just trying to... I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, troll, you know? look at this. We're nearly, we're very close to release, mm. and we put out stuff. I mean, like it will change. It still does. There, it is still going to be slightly different from what we actually do release. But most of the most of the chunk of it there. I've seen games where it's obviously really alpha footage, and it could be yeah. a great game, but because the alpha footage and screenshots look so bad, and the description is so bad, it hasn't been polished. It hasn't been worked on. It's really hard for me to go. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll vote. And I know it's a totally arbitrary vote that means nothing to me. It's not like Valve's going to knock on my door and go, you promised to buy this game, you have to buy it now. Mm. But it does, you know, it is... Do you think green light should be changed so that you should, you know, somehow submit a build to Valve and, and in some way kind of prove that you have... A... But that, that defeats the purpose of green light because then they'll have to pay through the build anyway. Yeah, no, but like people were... Um, are now saying beyond gameplay footage saying if you don't have a playable demo or not interested. Well, to be honest, those people can just go because there's no such that that cannot happen. You have 800 games on Greenlight at the moment, unless you have a guy vetting each and every single build. No, no, no. Someone's no, going to no, put up a like link. you have a link to your website with your, your Yeah, but I disagree with that because that's someone stop you putting up your that will, your Greenlight page though. Right? No, no, that that's not the problem. The problem is. If I'm a spam bot, I can pay a hundred bucks, get on Greenlight, and put a, a link to a site which downloads a Trojan to my computer, and I don't know about it, and I think I'm playing a game. Mm. It's it's I dangerous it's territory. You, you, put a link yeah. to go, hey, build you can totally do it. No, I agree that with that you can do it, but I don't think people should thing. expect it because that's going down a dangerous road. Why? Because of what I just said. People need to be. This is the internet, though. People should be careful about clicking on anyway. They should like, be, but still, people aren't. Like like. Valve encourage you to submit games that are alpha, uh, pre-alpha, conceptual, you know, pre-production yeah, things. Well, if it is virusy as well, and, you know, via that you've come across some horrible virus, then the team gets implicated as well. Exactly. So, I mean, like, you know, if team maybe don't vet their external links or anything like it, you know, you know, there, there's a problem. It's a, it's a whole kind of worms they don't really have to deal with, because, to be honest, if you have a gameplay video, an in-depth gameplay video, it's got to be harder for you to actually, well, okay, maybe not harder, but it's a, you know, it's, it's, it pretty much shows you do have a game that is playable. Yeah. I guess at the end of the day, it's down to, <coughs> and, and like, you know, as you said, put your best foot forward. Like, if you want to, if you want to get on the team, realistically, <laughs> you know, you should be showing your strong suit. Thrilled. And Thrilled by the fact. You have to be. It's like, so <laughs> so what are we taking away from this? The Steam Green Light. Well, it's, it's not being negative. Yeah. None of it's been negative. It's all been positive. Like, as far as I'm oh no, there's, there's definitely areas for improvement, but I do think sure. the harsh harshness against Green Light is a little unwarranted. It's, 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 it's a free. Well, it's not free anymore, but it started off as a as a free. Some people criticise Valve for going, you know, oh, oh yeah, that's it, you know, get someone else to your job, and that's some crap. You know, get get the people to do job. But oh yeah, and before I'm sure they were criticizing Valve. I just don't see how there was any other way for them to do it. I'm sure, I, again, before before like, they were probably criticizing today. Valve for not having any input. Mm. Oh Valve, why don't you yeah. let me like, tell really, you what game goes on? People find the reason to complain about everything. Yeah, so I don't. I, th I think Valve has room for improvement. And, but well, do you think they should have went down like the it was a hundred dollars whatever for each submission? Yeah. Should you think they should have went down the route of like each developer like hundred dollars just to? I don't know well, what, how that works because we were on it before they yeah. did that, so we didn't want to pay. It's, it's hundred, hundred, $100 per project at the moment. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Per submission. Yeah. Per submission. As far as I know. But, you know, it's. 
Well, you want to be making more than a hundred bucks on Steam anyway. Yeah. You would want to be making more than that. Uh, there are some people saying it prices out certain game developers in in other countries, which may not have as much disposable income, and I do get that. It's understandable. But this Kickstarter, there's people I, I've seen on Twitter. Any any game developers who want to get on and need money for submission, tweet me, and I'll get you on. Some guy did that, and I, I don't know how many games got yeah. on, but. Probably unrealistic that. though that if, if it's a touchy subject, like obviously, but it if, is if, if developers don't have hundred dollars put up, then the reality is they probably don't have the budget developed to develop a game that would fit on Steam. But then the, the argument that keeps being used is Terry Cavanaugh's v v v v v v v v v. So he he was selling that to his own website for a long time before it was picked up. Yeah, and then he he couldn't get the ninety five bucks to get it yeah. on uh, in, in case, or whatever it was. Yeah. So you know if but it could happen yeah. to someone like him. It could happen to a load of game developers, and that's that's the thorny question. Really. Should it be reduced fifty euros? I don't know because I, I think if you reduce it, it's at, it is at a pretty good point that nobody is gonna really well people will mess around and pay hundred bucks, but it does price out a lot of people who would put a joke submission in. <coughs> it's just are we excluding too many? They could have one person in charge of submissions and just. Checking the checking the validity of the game, like someone submits, you know, takes what like a couple of minutes for for someone involved but that, to check. But that's check exactly websites. what they used to do, and that's the whole point of Greenlight to take that away. Ah, but they used to have to go and play the games, and you know, and there's. But even before they play the games, they still need to look through. They still need to look through the submission. And yeah. I don't know what the submission process was, but it's, I'd say it's probably similar. You have to describe your game, probably send some screenshots mm. in a video. They'd still have to, to trawl through that before you decided, okay, we'll play this one. Uh, so that's basically green light. It's a tough spot to because how else can they? There's no other really way for them to. And I do, I do hope there aren't that many game developers who don't have a hundred bucks to get on and they have a good game. I really sure there are some. Them. I'm sure there definitely are some. And it is unfortunate, and it's it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ralph. Huh? I said. And that's what we need a red for this one. <laughs> oh dear. Have you heard it from the mouth of Ralph? Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> you just you just don't want it hard enough. You watch a game of Greenlight, you got a red boy itself. <laughs> it's good enough for you to rob, it's good enough for you. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, it is. It is fun. <laughs> Maybe there should be a, a Kickstarter donation page for people like can go on and and, I, I mean, you know, I really don't think, like, if you can't drum together, like, $100 for a game that you expect people to buy, like, you got to put in some money to make No, it, you, you, know? you you got to, yeah, but yeah, I, some, some people can't. And, no and that's fair. Point. I suppose, though, as well, well, that, like, Greenlight is not getting on a scene, you know, it's a chance of maybe it. Yeah. It's a bit of a gamble, but yeah. Well, maybe, maybe that's... could have easily made it $50, I guess. Maybe that's what the alternative submission process is for. If you actually literally cannot put in the hundred bucks, Steam has said yeah, that's know, not the only way. Option, maybe option. maybe that's what you do. Maybe you go directly to Valve and go, I don't have the money. But here's my game. But here's my game. So you think. Yeah. And, you know. No. You probably gen- have as much of a chance. So. Exactly. Like before, it would have been the same thing anyway. Possibly even more. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we should do that. We should totally do that. <laughs> we should do. We should hey, submit hey guys, we're already on Greenlight. <laughs> we're check, check it out. To check it again. Be, be awesome. Please write, li- like, rate, please comment. Please get your staff to look on. But that's Greenlight. Yeah. Oh, before we get off, anyway, back out. They were meant to be in here. We're gonna get off. No. Alright. Where's the zip? Where's the zip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. This podcast. oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a back out. We we're meant to come here and talk about it's green light, but they had to run off. So yeah, they 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 actually work. Yeah, they're <laughs> bu- they're busy working for the first half, and then have to like actually go off and do more work somewhere. Yeah. Whereas we, we're we're well, we've been we're working really we're well. Smoke. You were looking for yeah, any yeah. opportunity to fuck off from the US. Well, yeah, but we were working before. No that. way. That's not, that's not, not no. Tacos or burritos, you. 
Oh, we have to have dinner. We have to have dinner. Long day. Come on. You can't, you can't work on an empty stomach. It's counterproductive. Okay, so you filled your stomach in and started podcasting. Yeah. Could you imagine us all sitting here with growling stomachs trying to record a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the interference. Come on. The travesty of it all. Yeah, what, do you, what games have you been playing lately? Hamburger Lance. <laughs> Super Meat Boy. Super, Super Meat Boy. Now I want to stay. Tomorrow there's a roll fatty. When's this podcast going out? Um, soon. That question needs to be edited out. So when's the movie? You need to be edited out. When's the movie? I own Kandakin. I'm not here. Yeah. When's Q coming out? When's Q coming out? Yeah. Yeah. Cut. Cut. This interview is over. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's beginning to question whether Q actually exists or not. Uh, November 2016. Actually, yeah, <laughs> August <laughs> is coming on. Wasn't something around August, now it's September? No, I'm pretty sure we said uh, something around. Well, we don't want to release crop. Oh, Sometime in the near future. Oh, it's, it Sometime is getting there. Near. Sometime very We're pretty much in polish yeah. phase, which is the last... 5% we've, we're, we're, So it's coming out for next gen consoles. We're having we're having a yeah. testing day. <laughs> there you go. We're March. having a testing day where we're gonna be yeah. properly play testing the game. Although we thought oh, all these the same oh, and Owen is away and it's good. <laughs> so yeah, who knows? The definitive answer to that is who the fuck knows? Soon. Yeah. Very soon. 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 I think it's for the rest of you. It will be ready when it's ready, we're not gonna release crap, but Within reason. We're, we are quite close. <laughs> yeah. we've, we've made huge strides. Oh, Robbie has been great. Robbie's picked so many. We've made some up big up strides this week. This week last week, I've been sleeping on a bleep of bean pie. Working, all working from 10 in the morning to 10 at night. It'll be worth it in the end. Boobs. Yeah. When we release it. Yeah. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> well, if we don't do well, it's your fault. what your measure for reward is. <laughs> My measure for reward is that. Tell you what, if you don't do that well, I'll bake. Sweet, you bake what? Oh no, don't do that. I want baking. Bread. Bake some suicide. Cookies. What if we do do well? <laughs> Sign that cake. Like, <laughs> what if what if we do do well? Do we get baking as well? Probably. You get more baking. She said carrot cake on Friday. Man. Deal. Carrot cake on Friday. Don't think we've forgotten that one, Sharon. God damn it! <laughs> You're not getting that so easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, Robbie's in a, a slump in the corner, asleep, and uh, oh, it's a carrot cake. So I look asleep, I had a little nap there. <laughs> back, back, back oh, was well, that boring, are we? Yeah. Back to work. Yeah, we boring podcast. Back to work, Robbie. The, the beer and the burrito. Savages need work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robbie, it's Sunny Tree in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, short answer, we don't know. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was a quite short answer. Yeah. I don't like that answer. That means it's ages away. Soon. 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 Before Halloween? If, well, I'd say that. It will be. Oh, before Halloween? Oh, yeah. definitely. If definitely we definitely have to cut Halloween. stuff, it will be we have to. We have to give you some sort of answer. It's definitely before Halloween. So I can dress up as cool for Halloween then? That's my plan. Are you going to. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you, can dress up, you can dress up as cool. Yeah, you can help me. Alright. How are you going to dress up as cool? Didn't say which year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for PS4. <laughs> nah, we won't take advantage of that. Yes, our our technology is something. way too advanced. <coughs> uh, Spray sheets are the new thing. So, so soon. Halloween. Oh, pretty doable. I think we don't have to dress up this average by Halloween. We'll all look like the tickies. Yeah. Yeah. Go with a tickle stick. A better duster. That just sounds like a French maid costume, really. And oh god. Okay, so yeah, we're pretty much done with that. Yeah. Okay, before we sign off, any last words of wisdom? Can we have emails? What? Huh? Can we get emails? Yeah, we'll get emails. I'll open up my Gmail. It's like, oh, you've, you've won some Viagra yeah, from a Nigerian man. <laughs> 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 yes! Uh, so, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Sama J.H. Big Penis 1234, uh, regarding your question about Viagra. Uh, <laughs> oh, did you ever get, like, the. I just got the awesome um, Nigerian astronaut. You know what? Week. It's actually a lot more rare than people think it is. Yeah? Yeah, because no, I haven't got one. Oh, man. I've got one. 
Nigerian astronaut? Yeah, a Nigerian astronaut. He was sent up by like no, Russian no, cosmonauts. Was he like from space? Go like, I need ten million dollars to get back home. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Send me a bank My rocket has run out of fuel. <laughs> That's you set up by the Russians. They ran out of money and they can't afford oh, to bring him back. And so they've been just like US have been like feeding them like whatever on this like super secret space station up there. So. Okay, so, okay, 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 okay. The United States yeah, has had enough money to, I know I'm analyzing a spam email, but <laughs> go, bear with me. The United States has enough money to send up food enough to keep a guy alive for we'll however long home. it is. They're sending daily shuttles back and forth, I assume. <laughs> I, and yet they don't have space on this shuttle. Twice daily. Twice daily <laughs> shuttle. Yeah, well, let's not get greedy. <laughs> to send him back. And especially as I'm pretty sure the shuttles are scrapped now. They don't fly anymore. Yeah. So they're shooting up rockets at the rate of two a day <laughs> to feed this Nigerian oh. astronaut. I salute this man. And he's still up there. He's been up there for like 16 years. And he's like, here, is that what it says? Yeah, yeah. It says all this. And it's, his, gone, it's his brother no sending it. <laughs> I've, <been out laughs> I've been up there for 16 years. Yeah. And, and no one's like... Offered to bring him home yet. Yeah. No, it's his brother, his brother. <laughs> it's like, he must be yeah. a ball of no muscles. Like. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just a really tall, really tall and he's got hair like going up for miles. Yeah, the space. Like a good Genesis story for some kind of super villain. Do you know what? I laugh at the person writing that email, but I want to meet the person who replies to that email. <laughs> I think he's enough right people replied to that. I was yeah. like, actually, oh yes. Oh dear oh sir, God. I'm so sorry for your flight. I tried to send you some money, but my firecracker didn't reach high enough. <laughs> oh, but yeah, the actual like massive amount of money comes from because the government have been paying his wages all this time, but he hasn't been able to collect it. That's where like the millions come from this in this email. Oh, so he's in space, but he needs to. Get yeah, he's, of, he's been getting his wages. Of paying the man, bring him back to Earth, baby. Ain't no Wi-Fi in space. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool email. Okay. Yeah. So that was my awesomeness of the week. I don't week. get any cool emails. No. I just no. get the spam. You get the spam bots. They're pretty awesome. Uh, oh yeah, spam bots. Spam bots are pretty. You awesome. are the best web developer ever. I really hate the internet, but your blog is so awesome. It makes me want to read it more and more. By the way, do you like shoes? Basically, <laughs> <laughs> everything about shoes. shoes. Yeah, it's all about shoes. There's a yeah. thing today where the comment was only. Oak boots, oak boots, cheap oak boots, new oak boots, oak boots, boots, oak boots. So did you buy oak boots? Oh, boots. oh cool. I kind of, you know what? Have you ever put on oak boots? No. <laughs> they are so comfy. Yeah. But she looks like a D4 girl. No, okay. I wouldn't isn't wear oak boots isn't out. Boots? Are, are these men oak boots or moat boots. boots or whatever they're called? Let's, let's leave aside why I have tried oak boots. But <laughs> <laughs> that one was bringing that up, so. Yeah. <laughs> Later. I have tried on boots, and they are very, very comfortable. Yeah. I totally understand what people wear them. I would not wear them out because you look like a loony. If you're a man, surely. If you're a man. Also, if it rained, they're like sponges. Oh, really? They so and they're not waterproof at all. I thought they were no, pretty waterproof. But I would buy the shit out of them to wear at home. Like yeah, no, that's yeah. why you buy the cheapest ones and pennies. Super yeah. Super. And uh, I, they are so comfortable. So, a boot, shorts, Ninja Legend house. Shorts? Yeah. Shorts. Or, or just wear pants. Pants. Pants and no boots. <laughs> well, okay. Are, okay, it's winter time. Yeah, that's pants. Are you just going to start naked just with no boots? <laughs> <laughs> that is the way we evolved. Where <laughs> that is the way I live. Oh, that is my lifestyle choice, man. sir. <laughs> Never calling over to you. I will call you to respect my lifestyle choice. You should manufacture old pants. Old pants is a fucking genius. Check it out. Basil at businessgames.com. <laughs> 2.5 million dollars for 40% of the equity. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing too much equity. You're Sorry? No, this is, a, this is a separate business. No, okay, 40% of equity is nothing. For so oak you... pants. Oak pants. No, wait, 40% yeah. of zero. Pants zero. made of an oak material. Oh god, you die. Why? Too warm? Too warm. But like it's winter time now. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. It's winter is coming. You can get fleece lined tight. Oh, oh, really you say winter is coming, I'm just like picturing the meme. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not twenty thirteen. Yeah, March. That's ages away. Mm. 
It is age. No, it's in the corner. It's a five months. It's, it's, not, even, it's not even a full year. When Koo gets released. <laughs> <laughs> when Koo gets dropped in. We always said we release on Paddy's A. Yeah. We might, still, we might still hit that. Target. <laughs> we never <laughs> lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get a, we'll get a slot in the parade. Address a uh, big Koo balloon or something. <coughs> so would you, would you wear out an old shirt? The old boots? And old... Okay. That's that needs some. Old Billy Barrett, right? Put him in armor and, and get him to do like unison coup army, and then you get a little iron shots on him. No boots. No old boots. No, but we're talking about. No, we get filthy Bally wear. Young ones a lot. dress up. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong with Bally? Why are you slagging Bally? Mm-hmm. He owns Bally. I don't even know where Bally is. Yeah. No. No. It's close enough to town. Quite close. Is it? Yeah. Where is it? You just go past Houston and like. It's not far. Is that better? It's pretty close. Oh jeez, okay, yeah. yeah. Pretty close. Okay, now that we got like our Dublin map down, Words of Wisdom, go! Where's Where's the which? Which? Words of Wisdom. Words of Wisdom. Oh, is this like the Zen moment at the end of the Yeah. Time? It's like we're going to send like, listeners away like, oh yeah. Do you oh, games? I have a shit fucking cool wisdom word. Okay. Did you know narwhals? Yeah. Do you know the tusk in the front of the narwhal? Yeah. That's not for goring seals. That shit is a tooth. And it's got millions of nerve endings in it, and they use that to sense water salinity, because depending on the salinity of the water, uh, <coughs> ice freezes. Yeah. Ice freezes yeah. at different me. points. So, okay, <laughs> fuck it. I'll make it. I'll make it easy for you. Thank Fucking you. narwhals can smell through the tusk, okay? <laughs> they can tell whether it's gonna freeze water. That's if you thing. take an ice cube and you put it in a narwhal, he'll tell you is that frozen. Wow. Amazing. Intense. That's Christ. pretty amazing. Intense. Did you hear about the gay goats? <laughs> no. Put the willies up here. <laughs> Put the what? Put the willies up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man. That's okay, fine. That's even better way okay. To if you're not impressed by that, bats can see bats can see your veins. They can see a network of your veins. That's blood, cool. Blood That's blood cool. Sucking, blood sucking bats. Bats are also freaks. They're great. No, 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 but like. Blood sucking bats. No, just any bat. What do you mean by freaks? <coughs> well, they, they can walk your past. Yeah, but most most things in the animal kingdom. Oh, uh, well, no. This is particularly fun. What's your task? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm intrigued. What? Fill us in, Sharon, in the crazy world. Make sure you get to up to the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> um, we have no affiliation with Sharon. It's a better boy. It's a better boy. I'm not saying it. It's a better boy. It's a better boy. <laughs> It's like they take some, they take some blood, they leave some deposit. No, 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 no. Oh no. man! <laughs> oh man! I can never go to South America now. <laughs> That's horrible. No, no, That's no, what no. they were doing. Must <laughs> <laughs> be like cow bats. That, that was just people dressed up as bats. Man sized bats. Oh, you said the wrong B and D. Any more words of wisdom? Oh. Did you know that the guests are not this week? The what? The death head moth. It can squeak. The one that's in Sands of the Land. Oh, okay. That's do interesting. You, do you know that mice giggle, but just at a too high a frequency for you to hear? Yeah. When you tickle them, they giggle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> Scientists have science this shit. And its heart rate is somewhere at 500 beats a minute, so it's easy. They shouldn't be wasting their time with that. No, yeah, because I kind of send food to that hungry ass. <laughs> 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 Researching chicken mice. <laughs> I'm sorry. A, a, an awesome scientist, oh, because what I'm going to do now away. is when I buy a mouse, is I'm going to start learning how to make high frequency sound noises. Tickly noises. Noise. 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 Yeah. And that increases like the economy. Only kids can hear a frequency index. That increases right. the economy. There so you go, President Obama. Thank you very much. Rings, the sound of chicken oh. mice. Or children are mice. I don't even want to know. No, but you can hear children giggling. It's a high frequency pitch. Yeah. And dolphins can see your insides. If you're in the water, they're so nervous. Are you yeah, making stuff up now? I am not making this shit up. I wish I was. Or did you spend like a day no, no, watching Animal entry. Planet? It's just because your water, your body is 90%, 70%, oh, yeah. 70% yeah. water, and you're in water. Sure. Yeah, they're really good that's at, awesome. at something. Yeah, they can see. That's how they kill things. Like they go for vital organs because they can see vital organs. What do they kill? Like what? Oh, you mean they don't go for vital organs? No, they do go for Like say if they're trying to kill a shark. Yeah. They can see the shark's vital organs, so they'll go for its vital organs. Have you not seen Simpsons as well? Dolphins, they Dolphins are dangerous. 
They are. They're very nice humans, aren't they? No, they're not. They're trying to have sex with them. Yeah. That's not dangerous, though. So some women are bleeding in. They are teaching us to be submissive. Not the day the dolphins are walking around, we are, we are screwed. You basically just want to make it come up and start running. So that's a good yeah. point. No, it's not there. So we'd be like totally wounded. <laughs> yeah, we'd be at a disadvantage. Oh, that's cool. So I'm like, I'm like Metal Gear too. Yeah, I gotta go to the yeah. Ralph, before you jump off, word of wisdom. I already gave you words of wisdom. Which was? The ghosts? Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's like 20 to 10. Oh, Jesus. Mom, I have to go home and sleep. Yeah. Wait, oh, when is this here? Where is this podcast? I'm, s- I'm, s- like, I'm pretty sure I could finish it. Like 10 o'clock. Here, man. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Is that well, our it's outro? so easier to bring in fucking sync flag and sync green line. <laughs> Just been told not to play with the microphone. Just don't play it with yourself, man. What happens if I do that to the microphone? We're getting the, all it? feedback on it. Really? Yeah. It's not really bad news. It's not like this, John. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? What are you sounding like, John? What are you sounding like? Okay. Oh, you turn me down. <laughs> That's some bullshit. You can't just turn me down. Right, you can silence. I've got the power. Yeah, okay. It's cool. So that's like the first, like, fat cast done. That's it? Yeah. And uh, have you stopped? You haven't stopped recording. No. I've recorded for you. off, then. No, I know, I know, I was just, uh, I was going to say the bad thing, but anyway, we're going to uh, yeah, what? Yeah, we need an outro. We can't get to say Yeah, we need some outro music. Back off. <laughs> Not going for that. What's it? <laughs> I was actually... <laughs> 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 That would be an echo.